Here's a game that I like to play called Rook Wars. I'm going to use Rook Wars to explain the ideas of attacks, captures, check, and checkmate. So you begin by setting up a board like this. And you'll notice that there are some extra pieces on the board. These are called pawns. Now this lesson is not about pawns, so if you're going to play this game, um, leave the pawns where they're at. Now, white always goes first, and remember, there always needs to be a light colored square in the bottom right hand corner. And remember, rooks can move forward and backward or side by side. Now, the reason why I'm moving the rook forward is that in chess, pieces can't jump over pieces, at least not yet. So in front of the rooks, you'll notice that there are pawns. Now, the black rooks cannot jump over those pawns in order to move. In order for the rooks to get out into the game, they need to move to the side. Now that there's nothing in the way of this rook right here, the rook is free to move along any of those squares. Now, I'm going to move my rook right here for a demonstration. Now in chess, unlike checkers, um, you don't jump over pieces, but you do capture pieces. And the way you capture a piece is that you look for a legal move. And so for the king, it can move one square in any direction. And if you notice, that rook is within those squares that the king can move to. So the king can move over one square and take that piece off the board. That's called a capture. So now it's white's turn again. And white's going to go ahead and move the rook this way. We'll have white move their rook this way. We'll move white's rook this way. And now there's an idea in chess called attack. And when you attack, that means that you are going to capture a piece on the very next move. Now here, you can see that the white rook can capture that pawn on the very next move. That's called an attack. We're going to do something with black. Black is going to attack the white king. And you can see on the very next move, black can take white's king. In chess, if you can take your opponent's king on the next move, that's called check. And if you put your opponent in check, then you need to say check so that they can move their piece out of the way. So we're going to move the king out of the way. And it's black's turn again. So black's going to move there. If I was black, what would I say in this position? If you said check, you are correct. So I'll move the white king here. And remember, white kings only move one square at a time. What's that called? If you said check, you are correct. Well, as white, I'm getting kind of tired of being attacked and put into check by that rook. So I'm going to move right here. Would it be a good idea for the black rook to move right here? The answer is no. Because the king can move to these squares right here. And since the rook is in a place that's in that square of the king, then the king can land on that square and take that piece off of the board. Black's going to go ahead and try. But if you remember, we have an attack right here. So the rook can move to that square and take that piece off of the board. So now we'll move this piece and this piece. And we'll move here. Uh-oh. Why can't I move that piece? If you said it's because the king is in check, you are correct. So when your piece is in check, you have to move it out of the way. Check. Check. Captured a piece right there. So I want you to practice moving the pieces around the board and practice this game that I like to call chess or rook wars so that you can practice attacks and captures and check in your games.